I wasn't touching the Mac at all. I'm recording over here on my iPad and then it's actually recording it into this track over here on my Mac. That's pretty darn cool. Let, what, what are we doing here? Well, I've been told by a lot of people, they've said to me, they, they, say, they say to me, Pete, they say, you use GarageBand on your iOS devices and you're trying to learn how to use GarageBand on Mac. Did you know, did you know, Pete, that there is an app for that? There is an app called Logic Remote that is on your iOS devices. Now, I'm going to load it up here on my iPad. So Logic Remote, I've never used it before, but let's find out how it actually works. And instead of reading any manuals or doing any sort of thing, oh, we've just lost our screen. Instead of reading a manual or doing anything that logical, see what I did there? Uh, like that, I'm just gonna go with it and do it on the fly. Again, I've never done this before, but let's load up Logic Remote and see what it does. It would like to do things and stuff, and it would like to do things and stuff. Sure, do all those things. Now, now what? Hey, there you go. I was wondering what it would do if it would ha if I had to do sort of complex network settings. These are both on the same Wi-Fi network, so I was hoping it would just do this. Select the application to control. Pete's Mac Mini. There you go. We're going to connect it. Drum roll, please. This is exciting. I've never used this before. Uh, okay, nothing happened. <laughs> What's happening? Why, why won't it do it? Um, oh, ah, okay. Do you want to use... No, don't use that. All right. So maybe I need to come back out here. Let's let's have my Mac up. Look, we'll have GarageBand here. Let's show them both at the same time so I can see what's actually going on here. So for whatever reason, whenever I tap on this... Oh, now it's working. Now it's doing something. It's spinning. It wasn't spinning before. I'm like people that are discovering something that everyone else has known about for decades. There you go. Ah, it's asking me over here, see? So I've hit the connect button here. It's spinning here. And over on this one, it said Airhead would like to connect to GarageBand. Let's connect it. Hello. All right. So now uh, it's going to be a bit hard to see both of these on the screen at the same time. So we'll just, we'll, we'll in small in that, we'll get that out of the way so that we can see a little bit of both. So there's my iPad that you can see in the bottom corner of the screen. There is my Mac version of GarageBand that you can see there. We'll just move that over there. All right, so what, 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 how does this work now? So this is gonna be interesting. So here is GarageBand. Uh, it's not making any noise, or is that? Okay. So it looks like we're on track 24, which equates to this track over here, which is where we're at. Yep, we are. So that's cool. So this is now controlling this track. So if we wanted to sort of record in here, let's just give this a go. So I'm going to go over to the iPad and hit record. I'm hearing it. I'm going to hit stop. And there you go. So you can see I was recording. I wasn't touching the Mac at all. I'm recording over here on my iPad. And then it's actually recording it into this track over here on my Mac. That's pretty darn cool. Now, what else can I do over here? Can I actually view the tracks or anything? It looked like I could when it first came in. So what have we got here? We've got rewind, forward, loop, record, repeat, and delete there under that menu. What does this do? Uh, oh, this, this gives us a bunch of different things. <laughs> <laughs> um, is this just that I can change the instrument that's, that changes that one? Phasing bells? Will that change? Yeah, okay. So that changes it over there on the Mac. That's cool. Uh, so that, that's our sort of instrument selector there. We've then got our standard controls here, and we've got all of our standard stuff here. This looks... Ah, this is where we can turn, put our tracks up and down. So you can see over there on the left, on the Mac, it's going through all of our different tracks and we can go and control all of these. Now I'm assuming that we can't plug into the audio input in the iPad, it will still use the audio input over here on the Mac. Is that correct? If we're gonna record, let's try it, shall we? I've got everything, we got time. See, sometimes sometimes you gotta stick with what you know and stay in your lane. Sometimes you gotta try new things. Um, so, where are we? Well, let's find one of the tracks. So we'll go here to this track, uh, this stereo track. I don't know what, I think this was a guitar track anyway, but we're going to record onto it with a microphone. So I'm assuming that we'll go to our Scarlet. It's using input number two. We'll just flick this. Yeah, we'll, we'll stick, stick it into input two, shall we? So I'm going to plug a microphone into input two of my Scarlet, like so. And 
Uh, we it's a dynamic mic, so we don't need ba ba ba. All right, we've got audio coming through. We don't need any, oh, you can see it up there. Hello. So we don't need uh, we don't need phantom power, and I'm just going to do some like uh, spoken word over the top of this. So if, if I'm correct. We need to plug into the Mac, but now, if I was, say, somewhere in another room recording with this microphone, I could hit this record button and then record into the Mac, but using the iPad or the iPhone to trigger it. Yeah? Am I right on this? Let's find out. You know when you're murdering chimes, the only thing to do is murder more time. Right? Hello. Only time is... I don't know why it keeps asking me now if I want to use a different audio device. <laughs> it's like, you want to use Black Hole? Yeah. I'm like, no, I've already set my audio settings. What are you doing? All right. So that seems to have worked. So yeah, you, you plug it into your Mac and then you, we're playing here and let's listen to that. You know when you're murdering time, <laughs> the only thing to do only is murder more time. Right. So there you go. That is super cool, right? Yeah, so you can't, can you get a view of all the tracks? Oh, there you go, you, get, you, can, you can queue it up up here, that's kind of cool. Look at that, you can control that. And I'm assuming if I use my finger, I can, ooh, there you go. I can move around like that. I can, uh, I can go up and down the tracks, but it would be cool to be able to have like a track view. It doesn't look like you have like a track view here, but you can, you can access all the instruments there. And what settings do we have here? Velocity range here, we've got tempo and time signature, what, what we've connected to. You can create a new track. Oh, that's cool. So you could you could basically use this for everything. <laughs> that'd be that'd be a challenge. Use the iPad to set up and to create all the different tracks and do all the settings of everything and then record it to a Mac. Hold the phone, Mavis. Yeah. What about up here? Boom! We got chord strips view. Oh, we got mixer view. <laughs> oh, hello. There you go. Now we're talking. So yeah, you got full control over your mixer here, including a master fader, which we don't usually have here in I iPad land. Oop, I'm doing stuff. That's cool. Yeah. How good is that? And what else do we have? Uh, key commands. Oh, okay. <laughs> Stop or play. What, what? Why is this key commands, but it doesn't tell you what the keys are? It's just a whole bunch of buttons. <laughs> That's a weird one. All right. And uh, smart help. Okay. Perform using automatic keyboard fretboard drum pads. Wow. That's cool. Who knew? So there's your smart controls. And yeah, you've got your mix of view there as well. Love and life. It'd be great if you were recording, like I suggest, in like another room. Just get yourself a long XLR cable. Take your iPhone or your iPad with you. And then just do all your recording over in the other place. And everything's plugged in over on your Mac. But you literally don't have to look at your Mac. You could just be looking at your iPhone or iPad. That's pretty darn cool.